right, Mr. Hope, right, let's see. Nice. No, 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 no. Nice. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about those um, hitboxes there. Okay, I think I got it. Yep. Nice. There were some hitboxes there that, I don't know, those hitboxes were kind of touchy, but alright. Also, if you're wondering, if you're ever wondering what shadow level am I, I will show you right now. Because I'm not full shadow levels. As you can see, I'm only shadow level 9, because I kept it that way since the second or third boss, because I refuse to go higher, because I don't want to make it easier. I have a lot of fragment though. I can I can level up if I want to do like level 14 or something, but I won't. And this is the setup for this one. The dress as per usual. The quilling greatsword, which is not a greatsword, it's a spear, but it's a heavy thrusting sword. Which I wanted to use, but I didn't have the chance until now. This for to boost damage when critical hits happens. This talisman's really good. Fextra Life says 15%, or used to say 15%, but it's actually 10% extra. Shadow of Alexander and X Talisman, because you know what it does. And Spike Rack Tear and Flame Tear, because I was using this thing in Flame Art. So, yeah, that's all.